So, we have game three of this Lakers Grizzlies series that has not disappointed yet. And LeBron, the old man, started off hot as Ja Morant actually returns for the Grizzlies tonight as, well, of course, he was hurt. And here's D'Angelo Russell finally doing something in this series. And the Lakers were off to an absolutely absurd start as the Grizzlies hit just nine points in this first quarter as Rui takes it home. And as you can see, it's 35 and 9. And they had three made field goals, I'm pretty sure, and six turnovers. Here's look at missing. They were just jacking up threes and uh, missing everything. As they, I, 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 I just uh, think they were too scared of uh, AD early on. And yeah, they jacked up threes. And actually, they at least made it a somewhat a game here about Dylan Brooks. Here, punches LeBron, no punches. Hits LeBron in the Braun hammer, probably. So we need to see, of course, replays of this because we need to psycho psychoanalyze LeBron's crown jewels are probably the most valuable jewels in all sports and all everything. As, oh, here you can see clearly how easily he got him there. The Le balls were hit and it, I mean, it's a rough scene. Oh my goodness, here you can see it clearly. And of course, Dylan Brooks has to get ejected for this, man. We gotta protect our kings. And yeah, Dylan Brooks was ejected, which maybe the Lakers were kind of afraid of because Dylan Brooks was playing for them kind of in this game. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I can't keep a straight face. <clears throat> but the Lakers were leading by 20 almost the whole game. And here's Anthony Davis with the dagger three-pointer as it was a 19-point lead here. But the one thing that they finally figured out in the second half is Ja. And Ja was looking great and healthy. And he got going here and had 45 points in this game and just had an absolute pop-off in this fourth quarter as he scored like straight 22 straight points in this fourth quarter for the Grizzlies. And he attacked the paint viciously and much better than any game he... Well, any game. He played in two games only, but then the last game. And it bodes well for the... Grizzlies considering, of course, that he missed the last game and uh, was injured. So that's a good thing. But the Lakers gave it to him, man. They started off great. They played absolutely incredible defense. Anthony Davis, I mean, Anthony Davis is just playing some of the best defense I've seen from him ever, probably. Because goddamn, is Memphis scared of him. And he has been phenomenal. 31 and 17 tonight. Three blocks and two steals. LeBron with 25, 9 and 5. He was really good. Uh, Austin Reeves also contributed really well. Dilo had his best game of the series. I still think it's kind of a bad omen for the Lakers because I think D'Angelo Russell will eventually lose you a series with the way he's playing. But um, hey, at least he didn't play bad. Shout out Rui. He's been hooping. Shout out Dennis Schroeder. He was great. And the Lakers lead 2-1 and the Grizzlies need to win game 4 as they need to stop chucking those threes. They took way too many of them early. Missed a lot of shots, man, but of course with AD playing generational defense is hard. Jaren Jackson wasn't invol involved, involved enough. 13 points on 12 shots. Need him to be better. Had 6 turnovers, 4 fouls. They overall had 18 turnovers, which is just way too many. Uh, ja, like I said, got it going late and he was the bright spot. 45, 9 and 13, which is absurd. I thought Luke Kennard played fairly solid. I actually liked... Salda, Al, Santi Aldama and David Rodis minutes, even though they weren't great, I think they at least showed that they are not overall afraid, but it wasn't pretty tonight. And Desmond Bain has been rough. Dylan Brooks, of course, 3 of 13, he was bad. And then he hit the crown jewels, so uh, yeah, Dylan Brooks, rough. Surely he'll be suspended for game four, right? <laughs> I mean, the Lakers would probably appeal against it. <laughs> um, but yeah. The Grizzlies just, of course, need to play better defense overall to stop turning the ball over as much. But they need to go more to the floater area, I think, and stop settling for three-pointers. But the Lakers, of course, baited them into it a lot also. And they make their way making some absurd shots early on. So it was just an uphill battle the whole night. And uh, game four, I would expect to be a lot closer. And it should be effing awesome, man.